If you're anything like me and someone hands you a pencil and a piece of paper with a maze on it, you'd take out a pair of scissors and a hot glue gun and make that maze a little easier, otherwise known as cheating. Unfortunately, with Revel Maze, it's not that simple. There is a maze grooved all around the surface of this nickel-plated brass shaft. And the challenge is to remove this shaft from this anodized aluminum sleeve. The problem is that you can't see any of the pathways or any part of the maze. You have to visualize it and then do it from memory. Here's an example of the maze in the start position. I'm going to go down this pathway here and I hit a wall and I know I can turn right, then go down another pathway and hit a wall. Now if I just turn right here, you hear a click. And now I am caught in a trap. There are traps all throughout the maze. And when you fall in a trap, there's only one thing you can do. And that is follow the trap back to the beginning of the maze. So even if you're at the very end of the maze and you're just about to solve it, there are traps that will bring you right back to the beginning. You know you've solved the puzzle when you see these two dots have a line. At that point, the maze will finally slide out and all of the paths and traps and interior will finally be revealed, along with a small certificate of completion. Now, even with help, it still took me two days to solve the puzzle. So without help at all, it could have easily taken a week. Most people who solve it end up drawing out on a piece of paper a sort of map of what they're seeing in their minds. But I can assure you, there's no pair of scissors or hot glue gun in the world is going to make this maze any easier.